Um, nice to see some of you again. Um, let's see. So today, this is the la the one yeah one community call before the last before we go we head into the to our summer break, uh, and we have a new release out for uh, our Argos uh, instance and our OpenDMP software, which is the, the software that Argos is based on, uh, supporting different instances uh, in different organizations and countries. So the new instance you can find here, of course, um, I mean, the new release, sorry, uh, in our Git repo. Let me share with you the link um, here. And we are still fixing uh, some some things uh, that we uh, observed uh, that were um, that came after the release. Uh, but uh, I wanted to nevertheless share with you a few of those developments. So that's why this critical is about um, is about the semantics to show you what is uh, what, what we did, how we expanded uh, the mechanism, the semantics mechanism we have to support more uh, links and relationships with other outputs. Uh, then what we have um, done with your profile, because um, now you can link and also unlink your uh, accounts and show you a bit of um, uh, like um, show you around the, the, the new, uh, let's say, release nodes that we have uh, launched. And I will start, I think, with the semantics. Please feel free to, um, you know, jump in and ask questions or in any case, uh, you know, um, co contribute to, to this. It's not just a presentation, it's a discussion. This is what this forum is about. Um, let me share my screen. Let me find the correct tab. That's the one. Yes. Okay. Hide panel. Right. So we have a new, uh, so, so far we supported the RDA, DMP common standard uh, properties. And we had a semantics mechanism that um, allows for this mapping between questions and properties and entities of this standard to be um, completed. But now, but we wanted to, to move one step ahead and uh, allow for uh, links uh, also with uh, repositories, uh, especially targeting the qualified references, uh, reference that the European Commission has in their template, uh, the Horizon Europe DMP template. And to do that, we had to uh, expand uh, what we already support with uh, the semantics mechanism. And I'm not going to go into the technicalities of, of how we did that. Uh, you can check the code if, if you're interested and uh, you can feel free to ask questions and we can, um, our, our technical team will uh, answer them. Uh, but I'm going to show you how it works uh, for us, right? For us as um, administrators or template editors that uh, that create a template and as researchers who are going to use this template uh, what they get I mean, what we get uh, first I'm going to show you how to create a template with this semantics so I'm going to the data set templates uh, here this um, function and I'm going to create a data set template let's say this is the test template or related identifiers. Uh, let's give it a description like random, random, the language that this DMP template is written in. Then moving on to the second step, let me create my chapter. 
think we call it qualified references. Um, let's give a name to the section. This is all just so we can move ahead to the questions. And let's add a question. And let's say that in this template that we are working on, uh, we want to um, show the relationship of this DMP uh, with the publication. So let's say links with publications. Um, this will be the name of the question. Uh, I don't give a description for now. And I go to the type to define um, the type of this question. Um, I want to show that this DMP supports this publication, right? So I, I want to select the API for the publications. This one. So that I am able to then find one publication from the um, from the source uh, and um, do uh, and, and provide the, the link. Uh, after selecting the publication, I move on to the semantics, um, to, to the semantics function. And as you can see, all these are the predefined RDA properties and entities uh, that we already had. Uh, and further, we have more for Zenodo. Uh, for Zenodo related identifiers. Not sure if everyone is uh, aware of what this means, uh, but Zenodo uh, REST API, maybe if I can find this like that. But Zenodo has. Uh, gives the possibility of uploading uh, files and also making um, links with other um, files and outputs. So it supports uh, this outcome. So it supports um, related identifiers as an array of objects. Uh, and you can see here the different types of relations that uh, they, the uh, we can we can give to these uh, objects. Uh, this is a drop down list for them. Oh, come on. Sorry, <laughs> I'm finding it. So this is a type. Um, this is a whole list of uh, what uh, Zenodo in this case, since this is the repository that we are using uh, for Argos. Um, Uses so this is the list. So you can have site is cited by that this um, this object is cited by another that you're linking. Sites is supplemented with is continued by continuous is compiled by so different types of um, uh, operations and, and relationships. And all of that now is available from um, here all these different relations. So let's say that these publications that we are going to link, um, the, sorry, this DMP that we are uh, going to make this link with this publication um, is the DMP, let's say, um, has part of this publication. Let's say that this is the relationship that we want for this particular uh, case. Then let's make another one for a data set that this CMP the same. So I provide the question. I find the data set API from here, and then I provide a relationship. Uh, this DMP, um, I don't know, is supplemented by this data set that we will select. Um, let's see how this 
the works. Let's save it also. So this is how it will be available uh, for the end users. So for, for all of us that would like to complete our DMP uh, with this uh, questions, with, I mean, with this um, information. And this is how it will look like. I select one from the API. So I randomly select from uh, the sandbox now. Uh, so I'm not uh, very, you know, I'll deliberately do that. Um, I see that it works, so I can now finalize it as I'm ready to test it. Uh, this is the test template for related identifiers that we just created. And um, let's use it also and see how it works. So I go to my home. I start a new DMP, start wizard. Uh, give it a name. And I will skip all the non-mandatory fields. I will just, for, for ease of time, just move on to completing the mandatory. Uh, test template. The name of test template for related identifiers of this template. So let's add it and add um, and a data set. I mean, um, um, yeah, Okay, now that I can see the content of the template, I see that this is what I made. And I can move on to um, the to, to, to making the links, right? So let me uh, see. Uh, So let's see, I want to link this, this publication and this data set. Okay, I save it and I'm ready to finalize my DMP. I can finalize this data set and then go on to finalize my DMP. This is my DMP. Of course, I skipped all the non-mandatory um, information. I have this data set that I just created and I can now finalize it and deposit it. So when I deposit it on Zenodo, click it, I'm asked if I want to use my uh, credentials or Argos credentials if I don't have and if I don't want to, to, to use mine. Let's quickly use Argos for now. And I have the DOI. So let's visit what I did. What I just did. I can see the title, me uh, as the author. I cannot see, I, I selected restricted access, uh, which is the default. So I didn't change it to open access so that I can see uh, the actual exported files uh, that I made. But here uh, on the right, I can see the publication date, the DOI of this DMP and the links that I just made. So remember I selected the a relationship that uh, was about has part and supplementary material and has part is the publication so let's open it this is the publication and supplementary material this is the data set from Mendeley okay and this is if I go back an export for example in word document document click it and now you see it right yes we can see perfect so i scroll i scroll i scroll and i find the it's
and I click at them and you don't see what's happening because it's happening somewhere else here. So this is okay. So this is what uh, we can uh, get uh, directed to the uh, Zenodo entries or the other repository entries that we linked, right? Uh, this is the, the part for the semantics. Um, any questions on that? Any comments, statements, um, ideas for discussion? Do you think it's useful? Do you think it helps with making the bridge between the repositories and the uh, uh, DMP and helping with qualified references. At least this was our our, our intended um, our intention. Okay, Paulette. Hi, Paulette. Uh, yes, it's definitely helpful. Yes, okay. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, uh, that's absolutely is no doubt uh, about the usefulness of this. I just thought I, did, I only really listened, uh, just uh, not very closely. But it's for ta for the for the time being, it still seems a bit um, clumsy and difficult to put in practice. But I guess with time, you will find a much better way to guide people, etc. So uh, that's it. That's a very nice feature. Okay. Yeah. Keep the, your note. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're still. Uh, of, of course, yes. Uh, we need to see that in a DMP that is not just a test to to test this uh, this function. That's what you mean. Yes, of course. No, no. I mean, uh, here you had to find all the fields you need, etc. So all this eventually, with time, you will be able to build some guidance and to oh, yeah, for sure. even guide the people to answer instead of having to search through something you understand. Yes, yes, I understand. This will come with time, I'm, I am certain. Thank no, you. But semantics is critical, of course. It is. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Pauline. Um, anyone else? Yes, we have... Uh... A question Dragons. from uh, Alain Borel in the meeting notes. Are the possible qualifier relationships completely aligned with the, the data set uh, relationships? Are the, sorry, can I see the question? Are the possible qualifier relationships um, Sorry, I know I, I could not able to see. Okay. Are the possible qualifier relationships completely aligned with the data site relationships or a selection? The data site? Yes, yes. Uh, Zenodo is aligned with data site. And from a meeting that we had in the past, actually with data site, no, it wasn't with data site, it was with Orchid. Yeah. So I have to check. But but Zenodo Alliance is, is fully aligned with uh, data site. Um, so in this particular case, we are just using, um, you know, Zenodo, and if Zenodo fulfills this, yes. So I think the answer is yes. Thanks, Alan. Actually, I have a question, if I may, if if no one is willing, is have has any question. Yes, please go ahead. Yeah, uh, look again, I'm sorry, I did not listen very carefully, but uh, with your, um, the way you do things, you can choose any type of vocabulary or ontology when you do this, or for the time being, are you tied up with something? 
we use uh, the controlled vocabularies of the repositories. In this case, it's ah, a yeah. Ah, no, but yeah, you have answered my question. Yes. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. other cases where we have other instances, we use, for the, the example, the vocab the controlled vocabularies of dataverse instances. So, so yeah. di different. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else for uh, the semantics? No. Okay, then I'll uh, move on to the next. Let's, uh, let's go here. Let's minimize this. Uh, okay. Okay. Now it did. Okay. Now it worked. Perfect. So, um, I'm not sure that if everyone is familiar with this functionality, but I'm going to show it anyways, because now we expanded it so we can see it in full, uh, let's say in a complete, uh, in full cycle. Um, let me log out first. So when I'm uh, logged in again, uh, Excuse this. This is a test instance that I'm using. It's not the production, so that's why you you may see things floating around um, or being not uh, being mislocated. Let's say. Um, so here, these are the different possibilities. Some of the possibilities, at least, that you can use to access to to log in uh, the Argos tool. And I'm using normally Google. So I'm going to use it now, but you could use anyone that you want. Um, but let's say that I would like to use another email. If I use another email that is not the email that is linked to my Google, uh, then I will become another user for Argos because Argos doesn't know that these two users, although it's me, that these two different email accounts are the same user. Uh, and that means that uh, you might experience um, uh, miss like invitations that are lost from partners because they might send it to, to one of the two or even an, an even third account that is not that was never used to log into Argos, right? Uh, so you might experience that, and you might also um, experience. Uh, um, having the DMPs that are different in one account and different in another account. Um, as Argus wouldn't know that you are using two different email accounts, for example, to log in uh, and to do uh, your data management planning uh, activities. So to be able to, for Argus to know, we have already uh, a link functionality that you can find that under my profile settings here. If I click my, my profile, I can see my profile settings. I can uh, change, you know, uh, different metadata under my profile. And I can also find this, um, the accounts that I have used to link, uh, that, that, that I can uh, use to link my account with. In this case, for me, it's the same. Uh, it's my Gmail for, I'm using my Gmail for my Orchid, for my Zenodo, for my Twitter, and for my Gmail. So let's say that I want to link with my Gmail activity in Argos. Also, uh, my um, Zenodo activity, but with another account. Uh, with another email account. So for example, with my Athena Research Center account. So I want to link my Gmail activity with my Athena uh, Research Center activity. Authorizing it. I get a verification um, pop-up. That means that an email has been sent. You could hear it. So I'm going to check it. Uh, and now I'm aware that I'm sharing my whole screen. Hmm. 
interesting. Uh, let's quickly check it. Let's confirm, open this to another tab. Oh, what did I do? Copy. Okay. Um, and now if I go to my profile, I see that I've also linked my Athena RC account. So anytime that I will use this account, all the activity uh, will be uh, also kept from the Gmail as well. And invitations won't be lost for my colleagues and also my DMPs will be in one place in my data sets. However, uh, this um, changes if I want to unlink things. Uh, you can see the unlink function from here. Uh, and let's say that now I don't want to use this uh, account anymore. Two things that you need to pay attention to. You cannot delete the, your main email. So this is my main, as you can see, it was the first email that I used. Uh, my first login option was login with Orchid and it was my Gmail. So that's my main uh, account for Argos. I cannot delete that. I need to request for a deletion from the Argos team for that. But for the following, for the alternative accounts that I have linked um, after, I can do, uh, for example, this one, the Athena RC, I can at any time um, move it from here and unlink it, I click it, I get this pop-up that says, by clicking confirm, you accept the transfer of your Argos activity performed from this account to your main Argos account. So everything that I did with uh, uh, with this account will be transferred to my main, which is my Gmail. Um, and by logging in again with my Athena RC account, I won't be able to find what I had already because this will be in my Gmail account, Gmail, uh, yes, uh, email. Uh, but I will be able to start from scratch. So I will be a new user with a new account um, uh, on Argos with no prior DMP or activity in it. I click Confirm, and I have to verify uh, my account. And the verification goes to the primary, to the main uh, account, to my Gmail. So I have to check my Gmail. Oops. Let's click the OK for, uh, close first. And let's click the confirm. And let's go to my profile again. So now my Athena RC um, account is not connected anymore. And that's the, the new thing that we introduced. Um, as some as, as we, we were getting some uh, user feedback, uh, that's why we implemented it. Any questions or things to discuss on that as well? No. Okay, and then the last thing that I wanted to show, because maybe you haven't seen, oh, there's something in the chat, no, okay, no. Um, the last thing that I wanted to show is our release notes. We, let's minimize this again. So this is the current version, version 1.7.4 uh, in the production not in what I was showing you. Uh, the previous was 1.6.1. Um, again, we got feedback from, um, uh, from uh, developers that are um, deploying Argos um, in uh, their own VMs. Um, 
that they would be good also from externals, but mainly from the technical teams, that it would be good to at least give an overview of the new releases uh, as notes and the release notes. So this is what we're doing. So feel free to uh, have a look and check the release notes as well to stay informed of what's changes. Uh, we keep track of what's new. I mean, we don't, um, we, we, we don't add here uh, bullets for any different things. Like if we change a label, for example, we won't add it as, it, as it's not something, uh, you know, that's worth um, and knowing here, we have that in the commit, uh, so you can find them there. But here we keep the main, let's say, topics uh, that you need to be aware of. So in terms of what's new, um, what's improved, like the semantics that I showed before, and the, bug, the bugs that were fixed. Um, and yes, we hope you like it. Uh, at least this is a different way to communicate with you what's happening in the different releases. And I remember yesterday I wanted to, I had an extra thing that I wanted to show you, but I don't, <laughs> I didn't keep a note of that. So I forgot. And in any case, the, the, the community call was about those three and those three are uh, I re required uh, you know, um, considerable effort from the team. So um, hopefully you, you also like it and you find it useful and you will use it in your own uh, practice. Do you have any questions or anything to discuss around those? Uh, not only these or maybe other things that you want to discuss about Argos um, or another instance of the OpenDMP software. Let's stop sharing and let's see you now. Feel free to, um, you know, unmute and share your opinions or your feedback. Ah, oh, uh, Polek, yes. Uh, yes. Um, I think I said it already. I, I never used your tool and I think I'm afraid I will never use it simply lack of time. Uh, currently, uh, we are working with DMP OPIDO, which is the French extension of DMP roadmap. And personally, I also work with DSW. Maybe you answer this question at some other time, I'm certain. Uh, what kind of interoperability do you consider with other tools of uh, that nature? We are using the DMP common standard. Yes. And I'm also uh, the co-chair of the active data management plans for RDA. Oh, so we stay, correct. Yes, yes. We, we coordinate efforts uh, among the different providers. Yes. Of course, okay. we don't want, uh, we don't want to do something that it's outside of open science uh, realm. Yeah, no, absolutely. I agree. Yeah. Not that was just a question. Uh, again, I wish I could uh, play with your Cool, because you have really features. I, I said it before that really interest me, but lack of time, I'm afraid, just so no I, pop, I pop here now and then. But thank you for the nice tool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you also for, um, uh, you know, get, get, getting into a conversation during the calls. It's nice, <laughs> not not me talking also. But, and I, oh, I know what that means, well, what that, how that feels. I know that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, any other questions? No comments? Then if not, um, okay, if not, then we can uh, close this meeting and
the next the last meeting before the summer break is in three weeks so i'll see some of you in three weeks hopefully uh, some of you might be on vacation even better <laughs> hope you have a good time but in any case um i'll see you later thanks everyone bye thank you